Hey guys, Dan Wolfman here. Greetings and salutations, everybody. I think you're going to enjoy this video because today I am a Czech cowboy. Yeah, buddy, because I got two brand new revolvers from Rock Island. The Rock Island's importing from Alpha Proj in uh, Czech, Czech Republic. So, uh, guys, I think you're going to enjoy this review. Let's check it out. Greetings and salutations, friends. What I'm bringing to you today is the new Rock Island imported 3.1, this beautiful, stainless, hefty, substantial 357 Magnum. It is uh, made in the Czech Republic by Alpha Proj. It's beautiful stainless, comes with some nice stampings. Arms Corps International, Alpha Proj, Czech Republic, model 3.1. This is only the 48th one that Rock Island's bringing in, or Arms Corps is bringing in. Nice markings there. Nice markings there. This is a 30 ounce, approximately 6 shot, 357 Magnum. Of course, takes 38 specials as well. Really wonderful grips. I got a wide variety of Magnum ammunition to shoot through it today. Uh, even some that are in the boxes that are separate, some Fiocchi. I might even shoot a critical duty out of it. Push button release. Six shot cylinder. And now what I want you to notice is they're beautifully recessed. You just don't see that on revolvers that are mass produced nowadays. Beautifully recessed cylinders. It's a great looking gun. Rotates left like a Smith & Wesson or a Ruger. The single action is beautiful for a gun just out of the box. Really beautiful. Single action. The double action is about, you know, typical what you'd expect. This is a, a snubby. So this pug nose is, you know, basic snubby sight type gutter sights. The grip feels a lot better in my hand than I had expected. It's rubberized, but it's, you know, it's not, it's hard, but not like too sticky. It's got little dots on it um, that should give me a good grip. And it's got good heft to it. It feels like a solid piece. Basically, it feels like a Ruger SP-101, but it's six shots. And so this really kind of fills a niche between five-shot revolvers, six-shot revolvers, and weight-wise, because most six-shot revolvers are about 34 and a half to 36 ounces. This is uh, coming in, I think, at 30 ounces, so it feels hefty. So it's heftier than a uh, Ruger SP-101, but if it's your primary carry, I, I certainly prefer six shots of 357 Magnum over five shots of 357 Magnum over five shots of 38, right? So um, anyway, let's get the testing going. I got the target set out there at 10 yards for single action. Now this gun isn't meant for that, so if the accuracy isn't great, that's me, not the gun. Um, you know, it's, it's, you know, it's got self-defense sights. So then we'll bring it in and, and we'll do a lot of rock and roll stuff at the end of the video, as I usually do. All right, guys, kicking it old school because I'm old school. So I got a beautiful stainless 357 Snowy loaded up with Arms Corps 158 grain 357 Magnum. I'm going to do the first shots 10 yards far from me with the Snowy sights uh, in single action just to kind of get a feel for it to begin with. Again, if the accuracy is not great, that's me, not the gun. drinking it a little high. Uh, but you don't know where it's sighted in at. There we go. I think that was six. See how we did? Um, again, I don't I don't know what grains. Most most manufacturers sight in 158 grain for 357 Magnum and they 
sighted in at like 25 yards. Um, it came with a test firing at 15 meters, at 15 meters, um, and it looked like it was a little high there. So maybe they're the same as most manufacturers, I believe, 25 meters, 158 grid. So my first shot I threw high. For me, with snubby sights, that's definitely not bad. It has a really, really nice single action trigger. Okay, another six shot, single action, 10 yards. It's really soaking up the recoil really nice. Nice, hefty, seems like a quality made revolver. Uh, you know, I, I say built like a tank. If you look at my SP-101 video, Ruger's, this gives me the same kind of heft and, and feel and sense about it. Video is not as boring. All right, guys. So when I do my part, the gun's doing its part because it looks like I got three right here, right next to the A. Another one or two right there. So I'm starting to do better with it. Um, so you see, it's it, you see by these three, uh, it's very cap capable. In full disclosure, Rock Island uh, isn't paying me or anything like that. Arms Corps isn't paying me anything like that. But uh, they did send me out this and the uh, 9.0, the three inch nine millimeter revolver to test and evaluate before the release to the public. So far, I'm liking it. I'll give you my honest opinions. And um, also uh, this target, nice hard stock, card stock, uh, provided by targetsonline.com. You'll see the other ones are photorealistic when you rock and roll at the end, really cool stuff. All right, guys, just gonna go moderate pace, double action now, five yards from a generic uh, holster carried appendix. That ain't too shabby. That ain't too shabby at all. And again, 158s, generally it's set to hit a little high. So if you're carrying with 125s or 135, like critical duty, I might try out in it later. Um, but that's, you know, I was aiming right there. So that's pretty good, huh? All right, guys, impressed with this thing absorbing recoil really, really well. I got two rounds of 135 grain uh, critical duty in it, which I think should be moderate, less than the field key I just shot. Um, we'll see. I'm going to do two to the head. Hopefully I get in there and uh, assess the recoil. I think that'd be a good carry round or something moderate for like a newer shooter, even a, uh, a woman that's a newer shooter, that, that things, or um, 125 grain golden saber, 125 grain critical defense. I think those would be all moderate recoil rounds. So this handled the hot stuff really, really well. Not bad, not bad, I got him. And yeah, the recoil was, was fine. The recoil seemed similar to the 158 grain arm score, which is a great training round, by the way. And uh, as you see there, I got him in the box. So, I'm really liking it. All right, guys, now with 130 grain, 38 standard pressure, just to see how easy it could be for a newer shooter or whatnot to shoot as they step their way up in power level. I'm sure it's <laughs> gonna be uh, like nothing, I'm going to do a cylinder up on this new target, photorealistic targets, love them, hard cut stock, great right in the weather, rain, whatever, and even CQB, they don't blow apart, you know, doing high pectoral index and stuff. So we're going to rock and roll later, but I'm going to drop six. They're probably, might be out of the box, but I like a little higher where this target is, based on me, will probably be the bottom of his white shirt and his upper left, more towards the heart. Hopefully. Here we go. see what I did. Well, all right, bad on me. I'm not perfect, but I got two A zone. Perfect. I was aiming right there. I got two upper thoracic right there. Good. And two, I pulled high, but that might hit the break. This one might hit the brachial artery. So I pulled two a couple high. All right, maybe I got on the trigger a little fast those last two. I don't know. Uh, but, you know, you probably saw the very little recoil. Um, this Winchester might have been smoky. I don't know. But, um, you know, recoil-wise, like your kid's anybody your wife anybody can handle this um so you know th that's always an option too guys i should have mentioned i'm working for memoir gen 1 rfts today 
uh, carried appendix. And uh, I got 158 grain blazer jacket at hollow point. I've never shot this ammo before. I'm gonna try and do a Mozambique failure drill at five yards. Just a tad though, just out of the A zone inner box, and one just pulled a little bit right, but still not bad. And, and that was a little stiffer recoiling than I uh, expected. Okay, guys, I'm gonna see if I can take out the spree murder, mass murder out at 13 yards with a double action revolver. I'm not that used to yet with 350 ammunition. I'm gonna walk back to 50 and take two yard steps forward and then go from there. Alright, there we go. If I can do that with a 2 inch snubby 357 Magnum, which is not what I carry and it's a new gun to me, you can do it too. Everybody train up so you can. Obviously, this is static range and not under stress and not with people in the foreground. But, try to get your skills to at least this level. Alright, rock and roll time. Two bad guys up close and personal. Bad breath. I'm watching my lines of fire so I don't hit the walls, uh, guys. So I'm really not backing up as much as I really would, but it'll give you a good idea. Oh, hey, what's up, guys? Can I help you? What's up, guys? Back up! Alright, let's see your hits. Perfect. Upper thoracic spine. Went a little high up into the neck, maybe an artery. Came over to this guy. Got him in the heart. And uh, maybe nicked the bottom of his lung. My head shot, unfortunately, a little bit low, right in that big old 70s style mustache. And uh, this guy got the same thing, so I need to bring my head shot up a little bit. But will it serve you if you need it to? You be the judge. Gonna do some offhand, uh, one handed firing at three yards. Back off! I think the last one was the 357, the rest of 38s. I had a surprising good group of the 38s. One, two, three, four, five. It looks like either six was there or maybe there, I forget which one was the last shot, 357. But uh, offhanded, one handed, that's actually like a decent group here. Three, four, five shots. Um, now, I think, if you noticed, I think I short stroked the trigger for the very first time. That's the very first time I shot it. One handed, very first time I shot it. Offside one-handed, um, but it's, it's the first, I think I got caught, hung up there a little bit. I did short stroke, stroke the trigger a little bit, so something to be aware of. Hasn't happened the whole rest of the time doing a two-handed fight. All right, right hand will do with 38s. Jesus, I can shoot better groups one-handed than I do trying to shoot groups. This is if I was shooting groups one-handed. Five shots, right there. One, two, three, four, five, and the six just dropped a little bit low, but that's all in the A-zone spinal box on this anatomy type hidden behind the very photorealistic bad guy in this hard card stuck, which I just love. Uh, 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 obviously no problems with the trigger and all that type. I put 357s running again, just make sure it was just a fluke. And so, dumb with uh, 357 Mac, 158, arm score. There. Now I know I'm only at three yards, but I'm showing realistic self-defense stuff. Look, I'm making A-zone hits with 357 Magnum, one-handed, five and six. So all in the smaller spinal flock on this target. All right, let's do weekend only again this time with 357. Put them in the grocery store. Uh, gas station's getting robbed. I gotta go to my left hand backup gun. Going back to target from there. 
No problem. Is that time? Looks like those are in the, in the round circle, which is probably eight inches, I'm guessing. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, I'm not exactly sure where the sixth one is, but they were all within a uh, hand space. All right, another one with really hot Fiocchi 158. That's more similar to something I'd use in a three inch barrel, like the old Federal or Remington uh, loadings. It's like really hot. Hey guys, what do you have? Back up, please. Back up. Okay, here's my hits on this guy. One, two, and then when I came back, a better headshot. So another one, a little high. And on this guy, Nick in the heart and Nick in the heart. And a perfect center nose headshot. So yes, it's capable even with hot ammo for a two inch barrel snubby. That's it. CQB, something good, a revolver's really good at. Close, doesn't go out of battery. All right, CQB stuff, CQC, something a revolver's great at, doesn't go out of battery, up close and personal. I'm gonna do two from upper thoracic, uh, or two from pectoral index, and step back to the headshot. I've already ran it once, I don't think I hit record. They were good hits, I'll show you in a second. Whoa, shit, I got it. All right, it flew back that time because the clips weren't very good. All right, let's try it again with 38. Hopefully it doesn't blow it off. This time, 357 is just like last. Hey, I'm sorry, man. I'll buy you a beer. I don't want to trouble you. I don't want to trouble you. Pick up! Okay, here's my two hits. One from the spine from high pectoral index. One over there nicking the uh, bottom of the lung. And one perfect headshot. And where I hit earlier was perfect headshot. So, it's capable of close. Oh, I'm trouble, man. Back up! Uh, one pelvic girdle, which is good because it usually bounces off and goes up the body. One uh, stomach shot and a perfect head shot again. So 38s and this hard card stock's good. A regular paper target would just blow apart. So target's online, does a good job. About three yards cylinder dump with magnums. And then keep your distance, please. I want you Okay, those three yards with magnums. One, two, three, four, five, six. So all upper thoracic in a fist hold three yards, where you're most likely to need something like a snubby revolver. Little Penham here, I want to thank uh, Rock Island for sending these out. I'm really enjoying this. Can't wait to shoot the new winner in a few days. And um, I'm impressed with it. It really handles everything really well. Uh, I think this would be a fine uh, addition to your collection, perhaps. And um, something great to have, something to carry, uh, something for the range, can do everything. And I wanted to thank Range Guns and Safes in Atlanta for letting me shoot here today. So if you hear some uh, gunfire in the background as things went on in this testing, I tried to bring realistic stuff at the end. If you watch my videos, that's what I do, people. I get used to the firearm a little bit before I push it. And uh, anyway, guys, you can reload from speed strips with this. I believe, I believe you can use those K-frame speed loaders. As far as holsters, Rock Island said they're trying to get some, but they don't know the time frame. Uh, I don't know exact fit on this. They fit in my Ruger GP1 on Nerd um, pretty well. It's a little bit loose, but pretty well that I have. They fit in these KL frame that I've been using today, K slash L um, from Remora. Uh, Gen 1 RFT is what I would recommend for more solid fits. Um, and these have the Artemis cut. So, um, you know, it'll probably fit KL frame or GP100 stuff. Um, if you don't mind, just a little bit loose. Maybe in some K-frame stuff, it might fit really good. I got other stuff on order. But overall, guys, thumbs up.
Overall thoughts, guys. It seems to be built like a tank. It has tight tolerances, tight cylinders, nice, beautiful um, shape cylinders to get the uh, rounds in. Uh, those recoil great uh, grip. I liked a lot better than I thought I would. And uh, seems to be a very good defensive piece. Uh, firstly, I'm liking it better than I thought I would. And uh, I think I would like a three inch barrel with adjustable space even better. Hopefully they import that one in the future. I have yet to test the nine millimeter with the three inch barrel. I'll kind of get a good sense of where I like the barrel length. But this kind of fits the right need for someone that likes a snubby, wants a beautiful snubby, uh, wants something that you can hand over to other people to shoot and they can actually handle more graduating the up in heavier loads because it really does. It's in a very neat spot where other revolvers are usually like under 20 ounces, which is crazy, 25 ounces, or like 36 to 38 ounces. So 30 ounces, kind of an interesting place for 357 Magnum. Uh, obviously, it fired all kinds of different am, uh, ammo today without a problem. It's beautiful. And uh, overall, I'm impressed with the Rock Island imports of the Alpha Proj 3.1 stainless revolver. And I hope you guys liked it. Please share, please thumbs up, please subscribe. Always makes me feel warm and fuzzy on the inside. And I'll catch you on the flip side. Thank you very much, everybody.